Hello everyone, it's your girl Amira. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to this new video. So today I wanted to check on you, see how your Ramadan is going and sort of talk about a more realistic Ramadan routine. Little caveat, I'm loving the sun. I know that I look like a ghost, but I'm loving this so much. I feel like I'm a plant doing photosynthesis. Is this better? Is this more natural? I'm like in a specific angle in my window where the sun doesn't hit. So I'm gonna use this moment to, <laughs> to talk to you guys. In my second Ramadan video, I was sort of portraying that perfect Ramadan routine. I was really trying my best to act on my ideal Ramadan. But then if you remember at the end of that same video, I told you guys that I would need to readjust because that clearly did not work with my schedule at all because to be honest my reality as someone who works 40 hours a week forced me to be more creative with my ibadah i aimed high i challenged myself but then i had to readjust and to be honest i am pretty happy with the current rhythm that i ended up having because at the end of the day i'm still improving even if it's smaller than what i wanted i'm still improving little by little every day. Today, I'm gonna show you a more realistic Ramadan routine, for me anyways, and how I try to make the most out of it. My typical Ramadan night starts with a date and with a prayer. One thing that I love about iftar is how it allows my family and I to eat together. Our schedule rarely aligns. But subhanAllah, in Ramadan, we managed to make it work. After a long day of work and breaking my fast, I find solace in the simple act of doing the dishes. The warm water washes away the day stress, weirdly enough. Once the chores are done, I indulge in some me time by watching a podcast or listening to an audiobook. It's a small but cherished ritual that helps me find peace, unwind, and recharge for the day ahead. That was so good. Ugh, I needed that. As you saw, after eating, I usually like do the dishes because I want to take care of it as soon as possible. And then once that is done, I take a little time for myself. I either catch up with my friends, I listen to a podcast or an audiobook. I just try to de-stress, relax, take my mind off everything else and slowly but surely start my night routine, which is skincare and Qur'an time. So I quickly realized that after iftar, I like to take some time for myself. I'm gonna cleanse myself with you guys. So I'm using this from Crozer X. It's really amazing. It helps me with my skin. I have combo skin, by the way, if anyone was asking. But after I eat, subhanAllah, I, after I break my fast, that's when I feel the most empty. SubhanAllah, we're waiting for that time the whole day, breaking fast because we're hungry, we're thirsty. But then when it happens, it's like you were never thirsty, you were never hungry. And weirdly enough, I think that it makes you understand that everything here is temporary, that the most important thing is the deed that you do during this month that are inshallah forever lasting and that will accompany you even after this life this is the coco kind vitamin c serum i really like it it doesn't hurt my skin which is good i feel like in a way it makes you understand the importance of our actions and tensions because anything and everything it is a form of ibadah especially during ramadan oh you're spending time with your family that's ibadah and like it took a second for me to understand. I've been using this for a couple years. I forgot to show it to you on the last like skincare routine, but the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops is amazing. What I'm trying to say basically is that everything and anything that you guys do during this month, do it with an intention. Take five seconds, renew your intention, and I promise you, it changes everything. Oh, and by the way, I use this Cosrx Hydraulic Acid Intense Cream as my moisturizer. Oh my God, my skin looks so weird with the light and the camera. It's like I'm made 
with like plastic or something. Another thing that I decided to do to make my Ramadan schedule much more realistic is to focus on one thing and one thing only. My first goal here during this Ramadan was to complete the Quran. Not gonna lie, I am a little bit behind just because I was also trying to juggle with other things, taking halaqas, getting other classes here and there. But then I quickly, quickly started feeling overwhelmed. And that's how I decided to prioritize the Qur'an. After all, this is the month of the Qur'an. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I am a little bit behind on my Qur'an schedule. I have basically two to three hours per day for myself in my busy schedule. So it was impossible for me to do more than one activity. Ramadan is not about perfection. It's about progress. It's about improvement and starting new habits that hopefully, inshallah, you will keep with yourself even after this month. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope your Ramadan is going well. I truly wish for you to be able to accomplish your goals slowly but surely and to have a strong finish at the end of Ramadan. We are 500. Yay! I'm so 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 happy. I want to be transparent with you guys. Um, it is huge for me. <laughs> um, there are a lot of you who are not subscribed or just watching my video. So if you could please subscribe, I would really appreciate the support. And please follow me on Instagram. I post there often. So I would appreciate that as well. See you next week. Peace.